Hey ladies, Beth from Be Style, and it's Tuesday. Time for Tipsy Tuesday. Today I'm talking about um, some trends, in particular as it relates to lengths of things. That's a big question I get. How long should it be? How long? How short? How long? And it can be very confusing. And one of the, or there's there's really three that I want to talk about. The first one is dress dress lengths. If you go to any um, recent weddings or um, showers, anywhere, you know, where people are getting dressed up, if, especially if there are, you know, very stylish people there, one thing you will notice is the dress lengths, the, the most on trend and I think universally flattering dress length, and hang in there with me, is the, the midi, the midi length dress. Um, or even or maxi, but I sort of like the midi. And by midi, I do not mean the dress that hits you in the middle of your calf. That's probably where it got its name. You know, halfway between your knee and your ankle, mid calf. That's not what I. That's what they call them. But that's not where you want the dress to hit. I've talked about this all the time. The middle of your calf is going to be the widest part of your pads, where your calf naturally widens. You don't want anything pants dresses, anything to cut you off at the widest part of your calf. It's going to look frumpy. It is not going to be flattering. Um, that's, again, my opinion. But what you want to do is rather than going shorter, which you could do, but for the more, most modern current look and what's going to be very easy to find in the stores is you're going to want to go longer than the middle of your calf. You're going to want to go, I always say like this far, like what's that, a couple inches above your ankle bone for the for um, a traditional for a midi dress um, is such a flattering, fabulous, current, modern look. And again, easy to find. Now, if you are petite, I can hear my petite ladies out there saying, you have been told maybe your whole life you should not wear longer dresses, that you should wear shorter skirts, shorter dresses, that long dresses um, make you look shorter, etc. That is sort of old school way of thinking. And it's really not true. And I challenge you, if you are a petite, and you have resisted this midi trend to try it. Go to a dressing room, try it, and take a picture. Now, if it's a midi dress, if you're petite, and you know you, the, the dress has to be right too. You know, it, it probably should have some sort of. It needs to be fitted somewhere. It has to. It can't just be a big long sack. That's not going to work on just about anyone, but definitely not on a petite. Um, so pick the right silhouette. But consider a length this far above your ankle and then add a little heel. Now, you're not going to, no one's wearing stiletto heels anymore. Those are sort of out. I'm not telling you to go buy uncomfortable high heel shoes. I'm talking about just a low heel. It can be a block heel and it can be very low, like something that even as low as this, you could get away with. You know, this is, this is not an uncomfortable shoe. This is from Target. I think they're still available, but you know, just a low block heel um, is going to make that midi length dress better on everyone, even really tall women. But if you're petite, you're going to want to lift the heel up a little bit. It could be a, a low kitten heel, um, but a really flat shoe with a midi, if you're petite, might not be your best choice. Okay. Um, so the mid, midi length dresses are what, are, are what, if you're look if you're in the market for a new dress, consider looking at midi and it's not gonna be hard to find because they're everywhere if you're petite you're probably gonna look for a midi petite or you might have to get involved in um in in hemming and whatnot now the next trend that's out there that i'm like are you kidding me and i'm and i'm i try not to to make rules and say don't wear this i, I try to never say this but i'm i'm gonna kind of go out there and say i don't think even if even if these supermodels who have made it popular, I can't even think of their names. There's, I was researching this and some supermodel or influencer who's, you know, a supermodel influencer has decided that Capri pants are back in style. It was on the Zoe report. Um, Miriam sent me the article and I went and looked at it today actually. And there are, there are fashionistas out there saying that Capri pants are in style. And I know I've been saying for years and everyone's been saying for years that capris, as, as hard as it is for you people in, in warm climates, capris are, are just not the way to go. They're comfortable, I guess, yes. They're, they're flattering on no one, not even the supermodels, especially these new ones that they're coming out with that are just very, very, very fitted. They're almost like um, skinny jeans, skinny pants in a capri or like just below the knee or right at the knee. Um, 
knock them out. They can knock themselves out. And if you like that look, knock yourself out. I personally don't think anyone looks good in those. And maybe, maybe they'll become so popular that my eyes will, you know, I'll change my opinion once I see it on everyone. But I'm saying right now on May, whatever the date is, I don't think they're going to work. <laughs> I'm not buying them. Um, but, but, um, we've been saying for years that capris are no good. And people, a lot of people get angry when I say that, or when other people say that, because they say, well, I don't want to wear shorts. And I don't, I don't want, it's too hot to wear long pants. I'm not going to wear big, heavy jeans when it's hot. And I hear you, but capris are not your only option. You could wear, again, a pant, an ankle pant that this, that's this high above your ankle, which is what? This much shorter, this much shorter than what a capri is? You know, we're not, we're talking minuscule differences in the length. It's not going to be any hotter to wear an ankle pant versus a capri. So skip the capris. Don't fall into this that they're on trend and say, oh, great, I can go and pull out my old capris that had like things hanging off of them and wear them because now someone says they're in style. I'm just, I'm just delivering my opinion here, but don't do that. <laughs> wear your ankle pants. They can be wide leg. They can be straight. Um, they're probably not going to be, they're not going to be skinny. You're not going to wear skinny ankle pants. They could be slim. They can be a slim fit, but they're not going to be, you know, legging type skinny. They're not going to be stuck to your, um, your calf or your, you know, your lower calf. They're going to be just straight and fall like just above your ankle. Okay. Um, the other option would be a skirt, you know, a midi skirt, very airy and, and can be caught casual. You could find one in cotton or, um, you know, just a, a nice airy fabric, but capris, no. Now the other thing that made my head explode that someone has decided are back are, um, oh, what are they called? Bermuda shorts. Now I know, and a lot of people love Bermuda shorts. They, they, you know, they were probably in the preppy handbook back in the day. Um, again, if you love that look, you'll you and you love them, then you're in luck because I guess they're back in style. My personal opinion is very few people look good in Bermuda shorts. So if you're wearing them, and a lot of women our age wear Bermuda shorts because they don't like their legs. They have veins. I have veins all over the, the backs of my legs and my calves, especially. Um, which you know, Bermuda shorts, or or you know, you have cellulite and whatnot. So you think by covering up your legs with the Bermuda shorts, you're, 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 it's going to look better. I disagree. Again, just my opinion. And I challenge you to go to loft or wherever you shop and try on a pair of Bermuda shorts or clam diggers or whatever they're calling them. And then take a picture in the mirror just for yourself. And then try on a pair of shorts that are maybe, maybe mid thigh to maybe a little bit shorter. And I can't give you an inseam because everyone's different, but um, you know, probably no longer than a seven inch inseam, five to seven, you know, it could even be a four depending on your, on your, on your build. But try, if you, if you want to wear shorts, try a, a, a non Bermuda short, try one that's closer to mid or upper above your mid thigh. Again, take that side by size picture and, and do decide. And chances are, you're going to think it looks better, a little bit shorter. Now, things like self-tanner, fake tans go a long way to, to just hiding some of that stuff. There's leg makeup. I think it's wet more. Somebody makes leg makeup if you want to wear shorts and you want to cover up some of that stuff. But I also feel like, at least for me, I'm at an age now where I just, if it's really hot and I want to wear shorts and I'm comfortable and I want to, you know, or I want to wear like a tennis skirt and go play tennis, I'm just not going to worry about it. I mean, I'm 57 years old. Yes, I have cellulite in the back of my thighs. I mean, I know I'm thin, but I still have cellulite. Oop, low power. I have, I have cellulite. I definitely have varicose veins that used to be, I used to be very self-conscious of, but now I'm like, I, I, I just can't be bothered. So you do you, you decide if it bothers you, then, then go with maybe a 20 inch skirt. You could wear a skirt or a skirt. Skirts are great because they have the built in shorts in lieu of a, of a clam digger or a Bermuda short. Wear a longer, like 20 inch skirt, and it's just going to look better versus the, the having your legs, you know, enclosed in these long shorts that just look, I think they look, they look, they just, they're not, I don't love the look. I'm being honest, but a skirt, you're getting the same, you can have the same length, but in a skirt form is going to be 
more flattering. And I know you can find a 20 inch skort on Amazon. You can find them at Athleta. Or if you wanna go a little shorter, that might be better too. Do you decide. Okay, so those are the three hem lengths I'm, gonna, I'm talking about. Now, um, switching gears completely, and let me know if any of you have questions about that. And again, try these things on. There's no, I can't give you a rule. I, if, if you're in my summer style system or my spring style system program, you can, you can ask me one on, and I can help you one on one decide what is the best length for you because I can see your picture in the private group. No one else sees it other than the people in the private group. And I can give my, my opinion to you directly in this forum. Obviously I can't say buy this length. Don't buy this length. It's not going to make sense. Um, so that's a perfect segue that the summer style system is now available. And this time for the first time ever, I'm making, because of this wacky do weather all over the country. I mean, I'm, I'm wearing a cashmere sweater today. It's mid, it's almost, it's Memorial Day weekend this weekend. And I'm wearing a, a cashmere sweater. Like what's that all about? It's, it's, we're not going to get out of the sixties in the month of May, according to weather.com. So, but in other parts of the country, you have nineties and, and more. So, um, this season for the summer style system, I am including the spring style system. I'm not really merging the two. They're two distinct um, programs, but if you um, join the summer program, you'll get access to the spring one. Um, and you can, you can join that group if you want to. We're winding down in the next couple of weeks, but it's, if, if your weather is very like mine and you wanna get in the new summer program, but you're still not wearing summer clothes, get the summer program. $47, I should be, the link should be here. And you can access all the spring information as well, the spring outfits, the spring group, and all that good stuff. Because I'm a firm believer also, ladies, that when it comes to transitioning to summer, it's not like going from, going into the fall where you kind of are changing your wardrobe a lot. It's the same, you're wearing the same things. Even I am with my cold weather here. I, I have a very few strictly spring or strictly summer pieces. I try to buy things that and wear things that I can wear and adjust to both seasons. So that that spring wardrobe, which is like I think of spring and fall as like the Super Bowl wardrobes. Your your you know your main seasonal wardrobe is spring. And then in the summer there are a few select summer essentials, you know, bathing suits, cover-ups, maybe maybe white pants or a, a, you know a, a loose light color pant things like that, you know, maybe a summery bag. There are certain add-ons for the summer, um, but your spring stuff is just fine, right? Um, your t-shirts, things like that. Um, so anyway, I highly encourage you to check out the, the summer style system and and give it a try. Have a, a seven day money back, no questions asked, guarantee. If you decide you join it, you don't like it, it's not for you, just shoot me an email and no questions asked. I won't make you write me an essay or anything. I'll just send you your $47 back. And we run all through the summer and we talk about bathing suits. I call them BS. I mean, no one, no one ever said they love shopping for a bathing suit. Even those supermodels I was talking about, they probably don't even enjoy it. I mean, they should, right? But they don't. Um, it's, it's, it can be brutal and I'm here to help and I'll, and I have lots of suggestions and you get this catalog of these suggestions. And even more importantly, you have the crowdsourcing of other women that you can connect with that have the same body shape as you, that have the same style aesthetic as you. You can find them in this group. And these women, we become friends. And you could become like style buddies with someone and say, you know, you have the same same shape as me. And, and we have similar styles. Where'd you get that? You know, wh where do you shop for your bathing suits? What do you wear if you don't like wearing shorts? Um, and we have these great discussions. And it's, and I know you could go on the internet and Google, you know, what to wear instead of shorts in the summer and you'll get lots of great information or you can ask AI and they'll probably design a whole capsule wardrobe for you. But what you won't get doing that is the community and the personal, like actual real live people that get to know you and get to know what you like and what you don't like and, and what you do for a living and, and what your, you know, situation is to give you that kind of advice. You know, AI is not going to do that. Maybe they are, but if you want to do AI, knock yourself out. I'm just, that's, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother discussion. But 
what this gives you is true one-on-one -on -one that you're not going to get. I mean, you can go, you can hire a personal stylist. You can hire me to get true one-on-one, -on -one, you know, Zoom calls and things like that. But it's not going to cost $47 for three months. I can tell you that. Um, and if you don't want to be in the group and you don't want to join and you don't want to post pictures, you can still get all the benefits of the program. So I wasn't intended to give it a big spiel, but I, that's really what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Since I have a business, I need to try to tell you what it is that I sell. And this is my signature program that I sell four times a year. Again, it's $47. It's not a subscription. You get you you sign up once per season. A lot of people would prefer it to be a, a, a subscription because they do it every season, but I've made the decision to not make a subscription. Did I say prescription? I meant subscription. There's no recurring charges. There's no automatic billing or anything like that. You just sign up and you get it for the whole season. And you can sign up anytime. There's no start or truly an end, but right now is... The earlier you sign up, the more benefit you get, right? Because you get a, the seasons that much longer for you. So this is as early as it gets. I usually don't launch summer until June like 9th or so. But this year, again, because of the weather, and I see it's 90 degrees in, in Texas and Arizona and obviously Florida, people are wearing summer clothes. So I wanted to, to get you the information early. Okay, so that's my style system spiel. I encourage you to join. I'd love to see you there. And a lot of you are probably already in here. I can't see who's on, but a lot of you are probably here in the group already. Um, next, switching gears to jewelry, because I was talking to Jamie today. Um, we were talking about mini dresses. She was saying how she's been to a bunch of, her son's getting married and his kids' friends are all getting married. She's been to a bunch of weddings and showers lately. And she's like, she calls me Ba. She's like, Ba, I realized everyone is wearing midi dresses. So that's kind of what gave me this idea because, um, you know, I don't go out that much. I'm not wearing dresses that often, but I know a lot of you are. So a midi dress, again, repeat after me, not mid calf, below mid calf is a midi dress. Or you could go maxi, you know, some dress, some, you know, if you want to go, you could go full on full length too. Um, with a full length dress, I would suggest a, a, to, to get one with a slit. And that doesn't have to be a sky high slit, especially if you're petite. Getting a, getting a dress with a slit is going to make that full length dress a little airier, show a little skin, which is always so flattering and, and great looking. And remember your little bit of a heel and make it a neutral heel if you can. Okay. Anyway, I'm all over the place today. Sorry. We were talking about necklaces too, because back in the day when she and I were doing flirty finds together, um, when we, we, we started the company together, we talked a lot about long pendant necklaces. I used to say, oh, add a long pendant necklace. I said that for years. And I've owned them so many and I love them. But now, I'm not telling you to get rid of all your long pendant necklaces. They'll probably be back. But now for a more current look, um, shorter layered necklaces are definitely what you're going to see. And if you, th this one here is from Stella and Dot. Um, and I love it because it has like a charm and I can mix and match my charms and, and this part can go away or be, it's convertible. Um, and I like this blue. But this one is from Flirty Finds, and that is my, as you probably know, my go-to source for affordable costume jewelry that is hand-picked by Jamie, who is a on the cutting edge of trends. She lives in the New York area, New York, New Jersey, and she knows, she's got a keen eye for what's on trend, and she finds these things, and she finds them in a very affordable way. So all of her pieces are in like the 28 to 32 range, maybe 48 but she is offering a discount for Memorial Day. The discount code is MEMORIAL, and it's 20% off site-wide, I believe. Probably excludes discount, like sale items. She has some things marked down really low, so it wouldn't be an additional 20% off. But 20% off everything, and she's got a lot of great summer things. But I want to just talk, give a little shout-out, because of all the things that I have of hers that is my current favorite, well, I've got a couple, but in, in terms of long necklaces, um, I just tangled it. This one is my favorite. It is, it has crystals. So it's not CZs or anything. They're just really pretty crystals. So it's, it's kind of luxe looking. It, it, it gives some sparkle without being CZ. Um, it's delicate without being too delicate. And it's, it makes a statement without being like big beads that, that are really not that, they're not in style anymore. Okay. And it gives you that ability to have a, a necklace that you can just throw on and wear it by itself or with, you know, shorter necklaces. 
um, as a layered look. What, what I really love about it though, first of all, it also comes in silver. Oh, over here I have the silver one. What I really love about it is that you can um, open it up, double it up and wear it um, as like create your own layered necklace where you could have one strand shorter, the other one longer, or you could make them both the same length and have a, just a thicker one the same length and you can play around with it and you can mix it in with your other necklaces. And what I've also done with this one is wear the two together. I love the silver and gold together, um, especially if I was getting like dressed up, maybe in like a, I don't know, like a, a black dress, for example, or a navy dress. Um, I would just throw these on together and wear it as a long necklace. Um, and if Jamie's on, she can say how much they are, or you can go to flirtyfinds.com, flirtyfinds.com, um, and find them and code memorial for 20% off. These, I believe, are very well stocked as well. And they're the crystal. If you go to long necklaces, it's the crystal necklace. doesn't have anything hanging off of it. It's very simple, elegant, and very in style. And it's not going to break the bank, especially at 20% off. And free shipping. And free gift wrap. Which gift packaging. With like a handwritten note. You know, you're, you're supporting a small business. Um, in both of our case, in my case and in her case, you're, you're supporting your friends, Beth and Jamie, our small businesses. So we appreciate that always. Um, and I think that's all I have for you today. I have been all over the map, but I hope, I hope you got little nuggets of, of helpful information. And if you have any questions, just type them in here and I'm happy to help. But um, I, I invite you, jump over to um, the link to this, um, the style system and check it out and join us for summer and you get spring for free. <laughs> All right, um, thanks for being here. I'm just gonna look and see if anyone had any questions. I see a lot of great names and faces and I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here with me and I hope you, you um, got some value out of it. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, bye.